Hello, I'm Susan. And today I'm going to show you how to mend a small hole in a cashmere sweater. Now, as you can see, this is really quite a nice blue sweater, but it has got a hole on the sleeve. So I'm going to show you how to mend it with a very simple method. For the purposes of this, I'm going to use a contrasting thread, just so that you can see what I'm doing. It may mean that the mend may be more visible than it would be if I'd had a good matching thread but it will show you the procedure. A fine needle is best, and I like a short needle. Not everybody likes a short needle, but you do need a fine needle. And I'm using a Gutterman thread, and ideally you would use silk thread, but not everybody has a silk thread. Silk is brilliant in that, again, it's a natural fibre, and it doesn't cut into the fibres of the cashmere. And because you want to pull this up quite tightly, a really cheap synthetic thread can cut the fibres. This fortunately is near a seam, so I'm just going to anchor this in at the seam. Now at this point, I say anchor, but I'm going to leave a thread tail because if it, the hole is in the middle of a jumper, it's easier to have a loose thread tail and then you can draw it up and tie a knot. Now I'm going to take a thread from each. I'm going to go around the hole very carefully, taking a thread. And I'm not going to pull it this through. And also, as you go, try not to stretch the hole. I have done this on one of those old-fashioned darning mushrooms. And it does work, but you do have to be careful that you don't make the hole bigger as you're going along before you draw it up. Because you do want to keep this hole as small as possible. You don't want to make it bigger. So I'm just going round the hole. And I'm getting into each stitch, or as near as I can into each stitch. Now when I've got round the hole, I'm going to pull it up. Now it will be bunched at that and it's not finished. But what I'm going to do now when I've, when I've pulled it up is I'm going to go through to the right side and work from the right side. And I'm still not pulling that other end through. So now I'm going to do more or less the same thing just going to pull it a wee bit tighter that's it to close the hole and then I'm going to go through these these loops and although this looks slightly bunched up at the moment when it's finished and it's pressed it won't you get a really big hole you can't do this, so it's better to put a, a heart or a star or a diamond or something on it in a contrast or a similar colour and make a decorative patch. So again, I'm going to draw it up tight. Now then, you can see now that this is coming together. Now there's not a lot of white showing, so you can see that if it was blue, it would be fairly inconspicuous. Now, if you think there's a bit that's just not plain ball, just put another stitch or two in across the where the hole was. A bit like old fashioned darning. You can keep it fairly, fairly tight as you go. That's looking not bad now, I don't think. Right now, I'm going to go back through and I'm going to draw it up both bits fairly tightly so that's the outside now and then I'm going to just tie them off snip them off and then what I would do then to finish it off I would press it very lightly on the wrong side making it so that the hole was in the middle. Just press it very lightly with a steam and a press, not an iron, but, but not a really, really hard press because you don't want to damage the pile of the cashmere. Turn it right side out and do the same thing. And then I think you'll see that even though it's done with ivory thread and it does look slightly puckered there, but once you've pressed that with a little bit of steam, you'll hardly know it's there and you can hardly see the white thread at all. So I hope that helps. Mm -hmm.